Hello and welcome to Pandemic in about three minutes. Warning, my copy of this game is really old. It is a game for one to four players. There is a solo mode. Playing time is under an hour. It's a reasonably simple game. It's 6am on Monday morning at the CDC and the reports are in. Four massive epidemics have hit the globe at the same time. You must assemble a crack team of specialists and help keep the diseases in check until you can find a cure for them all. You win this game if you manage to find cures for all four diseases ravaging the world. The game ends immediately if the outbreak track reaches the final step, you need to draw a player card and none are available, or you need to place a disease cube and there are none left. Cooperative. The CDC team has to work together to save the world. Card management. Cards are needed to make cures, but have many other uses. Player turn. At the start of the game, each player selects a role and gets some starting cards and a character pawn. Each player takes their turn and does four actions. Then they draw two player cards and finally reveal cards from the infection deck. Actions can be done multiple times if desired and include moving from one space to an adjacent one, removing a disease cube. Some actions need a city card to be spent to do so. Those include flying to that city from any space on the board, building a research station there, or trading that card to another player. You can move between research stations as if they were adjacent. But the main purpose of research stations is to find cures. While at a research station, if you have five cards of the same color, you can spend those to discover a cure. Cured diseases are easier to remove from the board as well. Once all four of your actions are done, you draw two player cards. If one of those is an epidemic, bad stuff happens. Advance the infection marker one step, pull a card from the bottom of the infection deck and place three cubes in its location. Place it in the discard pile, shuffle it, and place all of those cards on top of the infection deck. The final part of your turn will be to reveal as many infection cards as the infection marker says and place one cube in each of those locations. If you would ever have to place a fourth cube in a city, there is an outbreak. Place a cube in every adjacent space and advance the outbreak marker. This can cause a cascade, although each space can only outbreak once per card. Unless the game is over, play then moves to the next player. Why would you like this game? There is a reason that there are no less than seven other games in the Pandemic series. It's a hugely important and influential design that has helped popularize cooperative gaming. Its success is largely due to a theme that people can connect with instantly, simple core mechanics that can be taught easily, and game difficulty that can be tweaked from easy to exceptionally hard. Each player has their own role on the team, and those different playstyles can suit different players. If you've got someone who just wants to smash disease cubes, hand them the medic. There are also event cards which can be held back and used at strategic times. The best thing about this game is that after a decade of owning it and countless games, it's still one I'm happy to play. However, there is zero private information in this game and that can lead to a situation where one player tells everyone else what to do. This is known as quarterbacking or alpha gaming and is frequently mentioned when people are critical of the game. Personally, I think that's a social issue and not the game's fault. But the game can be incredibly unfair at times. Back-to-back -back epidemics can turn a game from manageable to a loss in a few turns with little the players can do to stop it. If you're looking for something similar, there's all the other pandemic games I mentioned. But my favorite game by this designer is Thunderbirds, a co-op game about the 60s TV show. Pandemic, a real gaming legacy. If you enjoyed this video, like it, subscribe to the channel, and check out our Patreon.